Hey my friends, welcome to Irene Bisaso Home Network and if you are new to our channel, please subscribe. Yes, I'm outside here and as you see that sun, actually it's 22 in the night and probably you've heard about the Norwegian, uh, Norwegian, you've heard about the Norwegian midnight sun. So this is the time when it never gets dark. So we just have to put the curtains and we go to bed. So as I'm here outside reading my book, this one, I'm reading this book. I want to talk about something. I hope the noise in the background doesn't really make this video a little bit, um, let me see. Okay. Let me put it here. I want to talk about something that I find interesting I went and, um, what is it called? I went and um, protested or de uh, demonstrating, yeah? And my son, we made uh, a placard um, and then we took it to show out, show you a photo. So what I want to talk about, I want to talk about uh, things that maybe people don't know that actually when they do them, that is racism. Uh, I, I, when I saw the video of George Floyd, I didn't sleep at all. And I felt so bad. As a mother, I was so, I don't know what to say because the guy was killed in a way that, what happened to humanity? That's what I asked myself. How can we let that happen, you know? How can you do that to a full human being? So while I'm seated here, I want to talk about things that people, we should know. You know this color, this color you see, this is a pigment, yeah? If you know a little bit about the, 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 the skin, if you studied a little bit the basics of the skin, the anatomy of the skin, you know that these skins, the colors we have or the pigment we have, the white and the black and all this, it's because of the pigment we have, the melanin in our skin, nothing more. That's why somebody, me black as I am, my organ, my blood type O or A or AB can be given to another person. They don't ask if that person is brown or black or, or whatever. It doesn't matter. So people, we should stop this nonsense, you know. As a mother, I feel so bad that, you know, me, I'm blessed, yeah? In my family, we have people of all colors, of all skin pigment, you know, this color. And because of that, we know that we are all people. What matters is that we all have feelings, you know? We all have dreams. We all have uh, our weaknesses. We all have our things we are great at. It doesn't matter whether it's the skin color that doesn't have anything to do with whether you are poor, whether you your IQ and such things. No, it's the environment and how we grew up. If you give a birth to a kid in Norway, go to Norwegian school and the environment, it's going to be just like a, a white kid born here. They are all the same because they have the same environment. They go to the same schools and everything. But if you grew up in a poor slum area in Uganda, whether you are white or brown or black, you will be that. Because you know what? That environment, the culture, what is culture? Way of life. That's what you are going to know. So stop doing what you do because most of me, Irene, I come from Uganda, you know, and and me, I, at least I come from there. I have where I come from. But these kids who are born here, really, that they're going to face this. It's so unfair. So what I want to talk about today, actually, what I want to talk about today, I want to tell people what the things you shouldn't do with, to someone of the different skin color. One, stop. Why am I talking about this? Because people ask me, is there racism in Norway? Yes, there is. Racism is in every country, everywhere. There is racism everywhere. Now, that one being said, what can we do to stop it? One of the things I think that 
stop if you're a person of a different color stop saying that oh you you are so white or you you are so black or you you are so brown don't say that to another person because it, it, this racism thing, it's because of how we say about other people. We irritate them. We make them feel bad. I mean, to the extent of taking their lives, that has gone too far. So that is one thing you should avoid. Another thing, my children, when they had their hair, when we are staying in the elevator, people were like touching like their hair like this. No, you don't touch another person's body. You don't touch another person person they are kids you don't know you don't know them you know so stop touching their hair however you know they do different things now i've done something different to my hair we do different things you don't touch somebody's hair another thing don't generalize yeah we don't generalize don't say oh you people from that area you do this and do this it may not be true the things we say you people, maybe you eat food which is very spicy, very hot, or you people, or you are this or this, whether it's a compliment or not, don't generalize. So get to know Irene and give me a compliment that is concerning me as a person. When somebody applies for a job and has a different name, like my name is Irene Bisaso Huem. Bisaso is my Ugandan name or the name my, my daddy's name and Huem is my husband's name and you see, uh, I mean you just look at the me, me when you see the Norwegian name and Irene is also a Norwegian name you invite me to the job interview and then when my skin color appears and then you say, oh no, you don't do that but people do it yeah don't give people the potential i mean the, the the possibility give them a chance don't just judge because of their color because of their names and then you don't you don't give them a job or you don't give them a job interview or you, i mean you don't even call them on the job interview i was talking to a friend who told me for us who have botanical names <laughs> by then she was meaning names that are difficult by other people to say we are not even called to the job interview and that it was so sad because we are losing out. This is simple mathematics. If we have engineers, we have doctors, we have lawyers, we have people with different talents and they're not being invited to do what they're supposed to do, then you are giving jobs to people who are not effective, mediocre, just because they have the same skin color like you. It's not effective. And at the same time, you pay taxes and those taxes you pay, instead of going to school to, to pay food for the, your children or build hospitals and roads, it's going to go to the Office of Welfare to pay for that engineer who is dark or who is of a different color than you to, to feed the, himself or her family. But if that engineer or that teacher or that social worker could get us a job, we all pay taxes and then we all support our our business, I mean, we support our society. So do not judge a book by its cover, yeah? Do not judge a book by its cover. So call people to the job interview, as long as they have the qualifications, as long as they have the, the things you are looking for, not the skin, not their names and where they come from, no. In doing that, you are being a racist because you are choosing people just because of their skin. So another thing I think of you shouldn't do, and this goes to the authorities, yeah? Police, please. Not every dark woman like me is a prostitute. No. A beautiful dark woman doesn't, with a, a, a white man, a Norwegian or, or what, they are not prostitutes. And not every young woman marries an old man and wants money and wants properties and all that which goes back to generalizing and not every dark person is a criminal a guy is a criminal a, a boy is a criminal no one friend was telling me how it was stopped because they thought that she is um she was dark and they thought she was the one they were looking for if she didn't have an id that day you know another thing that we shouldn't do to when people come for example houses they want to look for houses and just because they have different skin color and you don't give them the houses you don't even give them a chance to go to the to to 
what is visiting in English again to go to visit the house and inspect if they're gonna buy that house not every dark person is a poor person the things like in Norway we, another thing we shouldn't do when somebody has worked with you for quite some time know their names because the thing why people they may say that you are racist because the thing is that when other people come of different color you don't even bother to know their name all the time one year two year you call them do 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 you 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 learn their names yeah you, and some say all oh, their names are difficult your name is also difficult for them but they learn it your name has even letters they've never heard of it because they are not in their vocab on their alphabet but they learn it so you too learn their names okay and then another thing is to stop that kind of to for example there are some people who are women or from those countries who never went to school yes and they come uh, uh, yes there are some but not everyone so don't think that oh everyone who comes here who is dark or what has never been to school no don't i think the thing is don't generalize because sometimes and don't baby talk because some of the the people who come here and then maybe the, as adults and then they learn the language of course they cannot have the accent some don't have we don't have the accent like those who are born here yeah and then you start baby talking them with your accent i mean the way they talk imagine you if you don't know english and maybe you talk english like uh, um i want to do this and this and then another English speaking person who speaks well answers you and answers you while imitating you. You know what does that does to you? You are trying so hard to speak. Another thing I think we shouldn't do is to to try to discriminate people based on their color. And to try to pretend, don't pretend. Because if, if it's a compliment, if it's a positive compliment, because for example, if you, somebody does a PowerPoint presentation, and then uh, this is a person who has a master's and does a PowerPoint presentation, and then it's oh, so thing, so good, so nice, like a baby. But if another person of the same skin color like you does the same thing, you, you will not give him or her that compliment. So try to be genuine, yeah? And don't pretend like you are a friend to them uh, in their faces because some of the things is that you, some they pretend in their faces that they are your friends, they are good people and say positive things about you. But when they turn on the other side, they say, yeah, but you know those people. How is Irene as a person? Oh, when Irene is there, you say something positive. When Irene is not there, then you say, you say somebody say, oh, how is Irene? And then say, yeah, but you know those people. You know how they are. And then you don't talk about Irene as a person. You talk about, you start generalizing. So those are the things I can think about now. Uh, and another thing that is very, very important. What do you tell your children about people of other color? Don't, the things like, don't tell your children, oh, those, those, people are this and this horrible things about them in front you don't talk bad things about other people in front of your kids but when it comes to uh, people who look different you said those things what happens when your child tells you oh my friend is is dark and is from uganda or kenya or i, I don't know oh my friend or oh, when uh, your friend comes and says oh my friend is a norwegian what do you tell your own kid so we should be very careful because our children learn from us and we are destroying their generation with all this bias kind of ignorant information about what it means to look different so i think those are the things i can think about it uh i'm going to share one last thing uh there's this lady and and uh, at work people were fighting and try to separate them from fighting and they were of the same color yeah and then when try to separate them, this this person, one of the person, reported that this person who tried to separate them was physical and violent. And but the good thing, this other person who was fighting with of the same color said, no, that person didn't do that. 
But this lady, up to today, when someone he, he sees people who are fighting of the same color, doesn't whether they are children doesn't want to intervene, because he thinks that if I intervene, they'll put the blame on me. So don't don't you know don't lie about other people. Don't lie. Be genuine. Be true. Don't be fake. Because people, and let what you say and your actions and your body language say the same. Because most of the time, your body language is saying something different. Your actions are saying something different. And your words are saying something different. Yeah? And not everyone that is marrying is going to... No, we have all these assumptions. This person is looking for papers. This person is coming from... A, what we, not every dark person is a refugee. No. Some actually are here, they are diplomats. Some are here, they are working at the university. They are doctors, they are engineers, they are experts. Not everybody. And, and, and stop asking about what is your name, what is your name again and again. Generalizing, oh, you must be having uh, 10 children. Not every black woman has many children. Some may not have ch children at all. Yeah, so these are the things you talk about when you know the person. You've become a friend with that person, and then you start, you have a relationship, and then you ask about, oh, are you married? Or, oh. but some of the people, when you are communicating, the person you've just met, this person, and it's like you are interrogating them. The first meeting, you don't even give them a chance to ask you a question. Yeah, for example, there's this question we like to ask in Norway where are, where are you coming from? Because some questions they can be like this. You meet somebody and say, oh, where are you coming from? Oh, you say Uganda. Oh, how long are you going to stay here? Um, I don't know. Oh, do you like it here? Um, are you going back? Uh, you know, you don't give a person the chance to ask you too. Because when you start a dialogue, it should be in position that the other person can also ask you, where are you from? And you should be in position to answer, not to be offended. Because some people when you ask, oh, where are you from? Oh, me. Of course, I'm, uh, I'm from here. Here where? You say, I'm from Trondheim, I'm from Oya, or whatever it is, because the person has given you the details, you know? And when you ask personal things about how they look, just like in this, these are basic things. You know, where there are things you don't, that I had to learn, that you don't compliment, you don't say somebody <laughs> about the, how, be, how huge they are. You know, in some cultures, when you've not seen somebody for like three months and then you see the person, you say, oh, good to see you. You've added on weight. Oh, you've lost weight. It's supposed to be something positive. But in Norway, you don't do that. So it's the same thing. You don't know. This is a stranger. Or maybe, you know, but the relationship stops somewhere. So don't feel like you're entitled to say all these things just because the person is of different color. You will not get away with it. Yeah. So let's treat people with respect because... What matters is that these people, we are the same with the potentials, with limitations, with privileges and challenges. And above all, give people a chance and don't let them. And when people come to you and tell them their story of what they faced as racism, whether white or black, do not just, you know, push it under the carpet and say, oh, but there's no racism here. Who are you to say? Let them tell their story. Another thing also that we have to avoid is the thing of uh, assuming that everybody, oh, we have, for example, you come a white man, visit, come a white woman or what, you come to Uganda, and then I expect, oh, oh, he must be an expert. No, he may be a criminal, he may be a beggar, he may be anything. So it's the same thing here also in Norway. Not every dark person that, oh, he must be so happy, oh, he's in heaven in Norway. No. Some of these people, they were diplomats, judges, you know, kings and what. And they are here, they have PhDs and they are cleaning and they are, they are suffering. They, are, they had mansions and now they are living in blocks and small things. So don't assume that everybody is, you know, everybody is having it. And don't assume everybody has reached heaven or hell. I think the bottom line is get to know people as individual. 
that is my experience and i'm talking as a black woman and i'm talking as a mother and i'm talking as a woman married to a white man if you can call him that but for us we don't see even see those color and i have children so in my family we have all colors brown black white you name it and we've i've been in this relationship for more than 10 years and what i've seen we are the same this don't be fooled by this color this is just like the way now i have on this with white and black and when you look down there it's brown tomorrow i may be having on this but i'm still the same person and the earlier we treat people with respect the better so stop your nonsense my friend i hope you learn something next time you meet somebody of a different color you don't generalize not every white person likes skiing. Not all Norwegians like skiing. Some they don't. So if you think everyone does, hello, no, some may not. Not every black woman is, you know, oppressed or not educated or poor. No, some are very rich, bright, and they are resources. So think about it think about it okay i wish you the best and i hope that we start treating human humans with respect we all deserve take care be nice to each other and enjoy you see now i'm going to bed it's 23 and still there is sun this is Norway and I love it and i hope you love it too you treat the person who doesn't look like you the best because that next person is your mirror the way you treat other people tells a lot about you so stop uh, you know we have a saying stack cash stop you know that kind of oh stack cash stack cash nai that i don't even know how to translate it like oh poor you poor you no that person is a gold is gold and you are not mining that gold because you this color is confusing you or that person is a thug and that color is confusing you that person may be a criminal that person may be an angel so try to know people not their color yes i hope we are learning something here you and me is there racism in norway yes there is is there racism in uh, in america we know is there racism in your country yes there is Bye, take care.